Hot's child, trust me. <laughs> Nobody's got that right yet, and they'll lost them. So let's see. Uh, city, uh, the city council concludes city council for Valdosta. Uh, do we have uh, city council uh, members or candidates from Lake Park? Any city council members from Lake Park? Or oh, Remerton? Okay. There you go. I guarantee you I will not go past the limit. My name is Bill Weddington and I'm an at-large council member in the city of Remington and I'm also serving currently as Mayor Pro Tem. Um, my time on council has been easy and simple for three reasons. We have wonderful citizens, we have wonderful city employees, and we have wonderful council members that sit alongside with me on council. Um, there's been a lot of good stuff talked about tonight. Putting into action is another thing. We can talk all day long about good stuff that we're going to do when we have to put it into action. So really there's a couple of goals that I would like to see in Remerton. If there's any members of the Valdosta Times here tonight, please come and visit us. We do actually have council meetings. <laughs> I haven't seen a Valdosta Times reporter in years. I don't know if they believe Asher and Remerton even exist anymore. Maybe he vanished into the woodwork or something. Um, so we are an actual city. We actually have running water. <laughs> so um, the two things that I want to see um, is probably, uh, you may not live in the city of Remington, but I'd love to see the old mill property develop. Of course, the city has nothing to do with that. The owners are marketing it, I believe, but uh, it would be nice to see something on that property. Number two, um, someone would say, well, that doesn't have anything to do with Remington. Actually, it does. It's called House Bill 110, and it stinks. If you support it, I'm sorry. That's the new fireworks bill that allows someone to set off fireworks from 12 noon or 10 a.m. to midnight, 363 days of the year. Now, that may not seem like a problem to you unless you live next door to someone who believes that they're going to set fireworks off other than New Year's and Fourth of July. Well, maybe the constituents and the, the legislators in Atlanta, and I've emailed several of them and picked up the phone, and their, their excuse seems to be revenue. Well, businesses, revenue, this, that, and the other. Well, okay, uh, I'll go back to the same argument. If you were, you know, I asked them and none of them can answer it. I said, well, if you live next door to someone that put off fireworks for four or five hours every day of the year, would you want to change that law? Well, yeah, I probably would. Well, why would you want to force that on everyone else? In the city of Riverton on uh, the 4th of July, I don't know if your neighborhoods were lit up. Ours were lit up. Um, often with fireworks flying over the roof of my residence and other residents from four or five houses down. Uh, without any regard for safety or where that projectile, and I'll call it a projectile because there were actual projectiles that you would have seen at five points back in the day when I went to the fireworks at five points. Um, I just believe it was a bad thought out law. I mean, maybe the revenue part of it is going to help uh, businesses in some way, but I don't think it was a lot of common sense put into that law. So I encourage you to write the representatives that voted for that law and encourage them to uh, either repeal it or change it, the law, in some way to where it's not just open season for fireworks 365 days a year. Um, there's a lot of good stuff said about public transportation. Being that we're a small city, that doesn't affect us as much as it does a lot of the county and a lot of the city, but we do have residents that would obviously benefit from public transportation. So I'm all for that, however it happens. And however we can help and assist in that, we'd love to do that. Um, myself and one of my fellow council members and our mayor are all running unopposed this time. Um, but I feel it was important to come out and speak to you tonight. And thank you for the invitation. And uh, our doors are open, especially to members of the press who've never seen the show up. <laughs> thank you for your time.